guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm right here in Switzerland in Solothurn at Amag Skoda. Uh, I will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out. And I have with me the new Skoda Citygo EV, the electric city car, I should name it, because it's an amazing, perfect city car uh, to drive because it's electric. Uh, you can it has a range of 265 kilometers it's more than enough for uh, city driving also it has around 83 horsepower 210 newton meter this is more than usual for uh, 83 horsepower to have 210 newton meter so that means you have a nice torque when you accelerate also it has an amazing price but all about the price uh, all about the interior review design we will make everything in this video so stay with me until the end of this video if you want to see all those information uh, by the way guys if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel if you want to see the latest updates about the cars and not only and uh, yeah thank you for watching if you like the music in my video just the link it's in the description so let's do the review guys so first time we will go inside and i want to give you some information about the car um yeah so we will talk a little bit about the technical stuff and yeah uh first of all i want to say that the car come with a motor of 61 kilowatt uh, power 83 horsepower 1278 kilograms the average consumption around 60.4 um, it's quite a good consumption of course co2 emission zero it's in a class and then um, here you can see that we have the ambition model i have the ambition model this is the entry level model of course it's another um, version that calls style there you have a little bit more uh, options on the car like uh, bigger rims and uh, yeah stuff like that anyway um guys the price of this car it's 24000 francs okay 25 let's say 25000 francs around 26000 dollars this is the starting price adding these options to the car the end price will be around 26000 franc around 27000 what I like to say to you guys is that I don't think you will find another electric car in this price with a range of 265 kilometer. That's that's just amazing. I mean, the price is very good for what this car can offer. And we will go into detail a little bit. First time I want to show you the key because I just don't want to go outside to show you the key. The key is super simple. And also you will start the car by putting it inside like a normal classic way so that's the first thing that i want to show you in the interior now we will go outside and then we will continue with the exterior of the car and then we will go in inside the car and right now if you can see right here as i said before this car come with those 14 inch rims of course on the style version it comes with the bigger rims with 16 inch rims you can also uh, buy it as an option so if you want bigger rims but i really recommend you to go with those 14 um, 14 rims inch because they are much more economical and they they are you want you want your car to be economical when you buy this car for the city you want to to use less energy as possible and to be honest those 14 inch rims look pretty good on the car i like very much this color uh, i will write also the name of the color uh, so you can see the color i think it fits really really good with the car and it looks very nice uh, the shape of the car it's more in a practic practical way you know because you will see in the moment you have plenty of space in the trunk for the size of the car also the back of the car look quite nice i like the way they write skoda there on the on the back also here you have ev and on the other side you have city go e so you know that's uh, the electric version other than that you have also a brake led light brake up here uh, and a nice roof spoiler the radio antenna up there uh, pretty simple design and also i will turn on the lights and you will see it in the moment here in the back you have the charging port guys it looks pretty simple and pretty normal like uh, the normal combustion engine uh, car but here down here you have those charging port and i think you have to unlock it from the interior i see an option here let me show you 
from here you have to press just like that i think right now they are unlock it so let me go there back so anyway guys um and we have to talk a little bit or how you unlock this i don't know should be a button around here to take this out i just did it they are they were locked and you have to unlock it from the interior but first time you have to take out the key uh by the way guys the great great thing is that you can charge your car at rapid charging station ccs so uh, that means you can charge your car from zero to 80 percent in around one hour so that's really great you get 200 around 250 kilometer in just one hour this is awesome you can charge it also at ac charging station for example 7.4 kilowatt hour and you need around four hours or you can charge it at home at normal socket in around if i'm not wrong eight hours so that's great that you have all those options this is a great plus for the car and uh, from this point of view i think um, they did a great great job and in this price i didn't expect to find this uh, ccs but i guess these days um, yeah all those electric cars come with ccs so great job skoda i think you did uh, an amazing job now that we speak about the we are finished with the charging port and stuff like that charging station the battery on this car it's 36.8 kilowatt hour battery it's quite perfect for the size of the car and yeah as you see before the engine we already talked let's talk about lights guys so now i turn on the lights and you can see right here it doesn't come with led light it is bulb light and also for the turning signals and also for the reverse light they are bulb light but the design and the way they look um, it's very nice in my opinion it looks quite good and even from here from from this distance uh, it looks really really nice the design is not bad at all in terms of light in terms of color lines and yeah it's a practical car you can expect to have everything in in this price so the price is quite good the mirrors guys are pretty big very good visibility there uh, also they are in black so i think they make a nice contrast between the colors also here they are led light so uh, the turning signals on the mirrors are led light uh, and in the front we have as well um, bolt light so you can see for the turning signals for the high beam and low beam bolt light only down here you have led light on the daylight so it comes with the led light on the daylight so from this point of view it's quite quite uh, nice so you can see also the front of the car it looks quite nice in my opinion it looks really really good and also it's a very small car you can park it very easy in a small spaces so I think this is the purpose most of the people uh, they should buy this car uh, for the size for the range for the economy because it's a very economic car it's electric you spare a lot of save a lot of money now what I like about the car uh, this front part right here I find it super super beautiful I like the the chrome design I like the way they design this part here uh, I like the way the, the Skoda logo come and also those lines kind of aggressively and also they add some lines here on the hood I like them very much I don't know about you but I like so much this front grille I think they should use it in a in a bigger size on the other future electric cars as well also the bumper guys if you look at the bumper down there and the lines it's kind of sporty you can see that it's kind of sporty design sporty lines quite beautiful in my opinion i like it very much then you have also the fog lamps down here that are also normal bulb light they look also quite nice and they fit really good with the car i like very much the bumper the way it looks the bumper i think they they did a great job with it really beautiful beautiful in the front by the way you don't have uh parking sensors on the car but we will go in the back in a second and you will see that there uh will be the parking sensor so by the way guys the car comes standard with lane assist and with that camera right there uh, so that's a great feature to have it on the car lane assist it's really really useful these days also the handles in black simple black matte plastic 
uh, that make a nice contrast within the colors and also you have a black glossy plastic between the, the windows here and also I think uh, it make it makes sense uh, in the back here you have to open the windows only a little bit like that you cannot fold it down just want to show you I'll show you a little bit later uh, and also going in the back here as I said before it comes with four parking with three parking sensors here is the first one and then the third the second one and the third one there so you have parking sensors in the back when you want to go in the reverse so from this point of view it's quite quite cool no exhaust pipes of course you don't need it for electric cars but other than that quite nice the bumpers down there are quite interesting and quite nice uh, from from the design point of view also we have tinted windows here in the back really big window you have very good visibility from the interior and even here on the side you have tinted windows you have the wiper so the practicality it's here also down here you have a light normal bulb light no LED just a normal bulb light so yeah that's the exterior guys if you have question uh, about the car just write me down below i will answer to all your questions so yeah we will go first time i want to show you the motor right here in the front and of course the car have traction front traction because the motor is right here in the front but i want to show you the motor and then we will go also forward it's a very light hood here and here is the motor as i said 83 horsepower 210 newton meter plenty of power for uh, only 83 uh, horsepower great now guys let's go inside turn off the light i want to spare some battery and then let's go in the let's go in the trunk and let's go inside let's start with the trunk and then we will see the space right here so open the trunk pretty simple also it has a very light door here it's quite nice design i like very much they the car have some elements very beautiful elements and i like them very much also you have a handle here to, to close the, the the door the trunk then you have this protection here for the trunk that you can take it out and i will take it out for you and i will show you a little bit better the way it looks now the entrance in the car it's quite big for the size of the car you can see even for the sides here it's quite big plenty of space um, here you don't have any plastic it's just come this deepness here and you have like 40 45 centimeter deepness here you have a normal light you have hooks for grocery here on the other side as well then you have this cable that comes uh, standard with the car you have this AC cable so you can charge at fast charging station 7.4 kilowatt hour and then you have another cable here you have so much space here for cables it's crazy and you have this cable that you can charge it at home at normal socket guys you need eight hours to charge with it and you have a full battery and you have plenty of space for cables that's great I like that and then this one that you can charge your car and three four hours fully so this is great you can manage your space here pretty well and I like that and I'm curious what it's under this under this you still have some space here for triangle and stuff and then under that whoa man look at this crazy huh huge space here I didn't expect that all right guys so pretty impressive pretty big space here for a small car I think for the city drive and not only for the city I think you with, with, with this trunk you can go also in holidays for example or stuff because it's quite quite big I never expect uh, I never expected to find it so so big this trunk from Citigo so that's a, it's a big plus for the car in my opinion I will take this out for you just one second I will need maybe my both hands let me take it out and then I will come back All right guys just fold it down so you can see right now the space here in the trunk as I said before, now it looks much more spacious with that, without that trunk protection. So you can see a little bit better um, that you have quite a big entrance here. I think you can, you, can, you can pull here big items as well. But let me fold down the seat. You have to fold it 60-40 kind of. And 
you will see how much space you have here. I think you have space for big items like mobile part from IKEA, for example. You have a lot of space here. Really, really impressive. The only downside is that you have this space here. But I think if I'm not wrong, I think you can put some uh, some other floor right here and then you will have a flat floor. I'm not sure about that, but I can see this plastic and those places here. They are perfectly made for this kind of stuff. So not sure about that, but the space, it's quite impressive. Here you have like 50, 20 centimeter deepness and then you can you can carry big items. For the city, it's more than enough. You can make an idea yourself. I don't know if I can say too much. I think you can see for yourself. If I go on the side here, going inside, also the, the, the seat belt can be like that, of course. And then you can see right here the space a little bit better. So quite impressive, quite, quite impressive. And even down here on the legs, you still have some some space, for example, from grocery for grocery or wherever you want to put there. I think it's it's quite quite nice from this point of view. Folding back the seats in just one one second. It's super simple to do that. Now we will close here in the trunk and then we will go inside to continuing the the review. All right, guys. So now let's go inside. Also, you can hear this sound on the tr of the trunk. Even the sound, it's, it's nice, you know? And let me try the sound of the doors. It's, it's quite nice, I mean, the quality, it's, it's quite there. It's, it's, I'm, I'm quite impressed about that. Before we go inside, let's talk a little bit about the doors. And here we have a big, huge windows, to be honest. It's huge from one pieces. You cannot fold it down, of course, because of the size of the door. The door is smaller and the windows is bigger, so you cannot fold it inside there. But you can open it up just like that from here. It has this system where you can open it up just a little bit like that. And then you have some air come inside the car. So I think it's more than enough most of the time. You can see also from the exterior the way it looks. Most of the time, it's more than enough to have it open it just um, in this way. So then you have to pull it back just like that. It's a tinted windows, very nice. Uh, also here, what I see is that you don't have plastic all over here. You have the, the paint of the car. You have some plastic down here uh, to cover the door. Then you have the handles in black matte plastic handles uh, and overall here it's plastic and then you have a storage space and a speaker down here just to keep in mind going inside um, we have a big entrance in terms of entrance it's quite big for the size of the car check this out it's it's quite a big entrance so even very very tall people i see sporty cars much more expensive than this with a smaller space here in the back uh, and also I have some electric right now in my mind. I don't want to say the name, but yeah, uh, huge entrance here. Check this out. Now the seats, guys, here the, the only downside, you don't have the center uh, armrest right here. But other than that, uh, you have these fabric material seats. You have a soft material until here. You have kind of a side support here. Even down here, they, they created like uh, the side support and they look quite nice. I, I don't know. The, the design of the seats, uh, it's nice and simple. Then you have Isofix here uh, for kids, so you can install two child seats. Let me go inside. It's also very cold. Today it's very cold. You have a hook here, pretty nice. And then you can see the space right here, my space on my legs. and. I have like four fingers here in the back and also you can see the seats there in the front. You can f you can put the seats much more in the front than it's now in this moment. Usually I should have much more space on my legs, uh, but you can see the seats the way they, they array right now. But in terms of space, I don't have to worry. I can stretch my legs a little bit under the seat there. So the great part is that you can put your, your legs also under the seat. So quite nice quite nice the space it's no problem uh, for me I think it's more than enough and also on the head because of the size of the car you have four four fingers 
I have four fingers over my head. I can go a little bit in the front. If they put the, the seats a little bit more in the front, I will have a perfect space here. And even the comfort on those seats is not bad at all. The visibility, it's perfect because you have this huge window here. You have a perfect visibility here. It's just amazing. One of the best, if not the best visibility in the small classes. Great, great visibility from this point of view. It's awesome. Going in the middle, by the way, here in the middle you have a transmission tunnel. Actually, it's not a transmission tunnel, but you have kind of a transmission tunnel. Cup holder right here. Going in the back. And here in the middle, guys, you have uh, less space. If I can say like that, two, one finger. So the space in, in the middle is quite narrow. Also here in the middle, it's not so comfortable to be here. Uh, and the space also, I have like three fingers now, a little bit less space in the middle. Uh, if I stretch my hand on the left side, quite surprisingly, it's not so narrow as I expected, yeah? But, guys, I don't recommend free people here. Maybe for short trips in the city, I think it's good. For 10, 20, 30 kilometers, it's no problem, free people. But if you go more or if you want more comfort, two people in the back it's perfect not good perfect yeah what can i say we'll go in the front and we will continue there also i like the white roof it makes the car much more brighter inside and nicer in the front the car come with kind of a sporty seat design you can see it they are together with the headrest you cannot adjust the headrest and they look kind of sporty then we will go in the front and i will show you also the dashboard we will talk about the technology there in the front um, you will see also the design, the seats. All right, before we go inside, we talk a little bit about the door. Also in the front, you have a huge windows from one pieces. That's great. You have good visibility because it's a big one. You have here the controllers for the mirrors. You have to adjust it manually from here so you can see it. I think you can see it. You can adjust it manually from here. It's very simple to adjust it. You get get um, used with it really fast then the design of the door it's very similar with what you see in the back there you have most of the part it's plastic i mean all over it's plastic but it's a nice design here you have a speaker then you have electric uh, windows adjustable lock and unlock handle you have also a handle here and huge storage space here in door bands that's something that i like quite quite big there the entrance in the front also big entrance um, going to the seats as i said before you have a nice design on the seats kind of a sporty seat fabric material the same as in the back they are comfortable you will be surprised how comfortable uh, those seats are and they are so soft you can see it. they are soft you feel like you're on a sofa i like them very much you have side support if you want to drive a little bit sportier uh, you have a little bit of torque in this car 210 newton meter it's it's quite cool uh, and yeah they are nice they are manual adjustable so you have to adjust it manually and then if you go forward here you have the lights controllers so you can turn on the lights i think you're already familiar with it uh, from volkswagen group cars and from skodas also you have this nice vent i like it very much the way it looks so you can see it right here it's quite fancy the vents are nice designed also i like very much this uh, kind of glossy plastic matte black gray uh, it has a nice trim on it and it looks quite nice it goes all over the dashboard it looks quite interesting other than that you have uh, all over the dash plastic so yeah uh, here you have also the controls for the lights up and down one two three i think you know the position of the lights um, so yeah let me go inside it's quite cold but i like the doors i'm kind of in love with the doors the sound of the doors it's quite good uh manual handbrake this one i wish it was different but in this price i don't have any complaint guys in terms of quality the complaint are gone on this price and on what this car can offer now here you have the uh, shifter for the uh, different uh, driving modes for example you are in parking mode right now you can go in reverse neutral drive and you have also b b stand for a more regenerate 
brake so you can regenerate more energy back into battery if you drive in D every time you take the foot out of the acceleration you will regenerate more energy back in the battery so it's kind of a, a engine brake on the normal combustion engine then you have here button echo Echo Plus, you can drive in Echo mode to spare more battery and you can drive in Echo Plus if you want much more uh, energy uh, to spare and the acceleration will be much more reduced and also less Newton meter. You have a 12 volt port, you have a, a cup holder down here and also space for your phone. So quite useful, those spaces right there. And other than that, it's quite simple here. And uh, here in the middle, you have some glossy plastic, quite, quite interesting and nice, simple and practical. Glow box, quite big, to be honest, for a small car like that, you have plenty of space there in the glow box. Um, then you have also another vent here uh, and also this nice design as I said before you can also see it it's a beautiful design um, the way they integrate also this multimedia system I think it makes a lot of sense and it looks very nice also they add this smartphone uh, holder here so you can you can put your smartphone here and you you have the navigation you can use your Android or Apple CarPlay the maps and all that stuff wherever you want you can install it here directly on the car and I wish this uh, this phone holder to be in my oldest car I think it's a great great practical thing to add on the cars and great job Skoda I think you did a great job with it and then you have here everything is simple some vents in the back there other than that the design of the dashboard it's quite nice you have a very good visibility from the driver point of view i think you have everything where it should be everything it's in normal position even the visibility on the mirrors on the windows guys check this out the visibility around the car it is perfect you don't have a reverse camera but you have very good visibility around the window so uh, in terms of visibility you don't have to worry by the way you have sensors in the back as I sh as I show you before now going forward guys to the steering wheel you can also adjust the steering wheel from here manually the way you want it up down left right the steering wheel it's nice you have a nice grip it's a very simple steering wheel here you have the controls for the sound you can change the even the tracks or the radio stations then you have this glossy plastic with Skoda logo right here in the middle so the you have EV here the logo and the steering wheel is quite nice simple and nice and the quality is very good uh, and you have a great grip it's a leather steering wheel so that's something to keep in mind now the cockpit uh, it's simple now let me turn on the key one time and then press the, the brake and right now the engine it's on so if i zoom a little bit you can see a little bit better the cockpit there so you can see it's pretty simple you have the the most important information right there in the front the battery and then you have the speed and then you have the regenerate information right here you can see when the car is charging or when it uses more uh, battery and stuff like that and it's quite simple you, you can see right there in the middle how much range you still have it if you turn on for example the ac let me show you you will see that you will get less less battery range estimation right there in the middle so it's quite simple nothing nothing much to talk about but Overall, the visibility from the driver point of view, it's quite, quite good. So, uh, yeah, it's a simple one, guys. What do you expect in this price? Now, let's go here in the middle and let's talk a little bit about the multimedia system and also about the climatic system. Also, it's very simple, very well positioned here. You can press the buttons very easily and you have, of course, all that buttons, very simple to adjust, to to control different function here and you can turn it on and off very simply you have heated seats uh, you can use heated seat of course for you and passengers in the front that's a great feature for the winter like it's right now and you really need that then you have this multimedia system integrated right here it has kind of a glossy plastic it is a color screen but it doesn't have a touch screen you have to see right here you have the shortcut button you have the radio you have the media uh, an auxiliar then you have the phone here on this side and then 
you can connect your phone of course and then you have the menu on the menu you have to go to this wheel right here and you go to different menus application media setting radio settings system settings and you can see here you can change the language bluetooth application connection you can connect uh, your phone with the car as i said before then going reverse this button then go to the sound settings phone settings uh, app connection here you can connect your phone as i said before and then you have the media settings yeah that that's quite simple i mean you don't have so many bass volume even on the sound you have some uh, settings here it's quite a simple simple design but it's nice i mean what you expect guys what what you expect up here you have a big mirror you have a very good visibility in the back that that's something that i like very much as i said the visibility is important when you don't have a reverse camera up here you have normal light um, just more than perfect and here you have some some shade uh, sun protection no mirror here there's something to keep in mind as well so right now uh, the engine the motor it's on and you can see how silent it is of course uh, electric cars are really really silent i think i'm i'm almost end up this video guys and i want to talk with you a little bit in the end before i end up this video so i want to say something uh, about electric cars about the pollution and about what it's better to drive these days and in my opinion if you want to think in the future i think it's a great great option to think about electric cars today uh, really serious and if you need a city car if you drive to to work and home every day i think this um, skoda city go uh, electric it's more than perfect 265 kilometers okay maybe real 240 uh, depend how you're driving but electric cars love driving in the city when you drive in the city at low speed electric cars have very good consumption and also in the summer when it's not so cold in the cold it's also not so good but guys think about that around twenty six thousand dollars for an electric car that drive around 230 kilometers it's it's a great price and also you see before how much space you have in the back it's easy to park easy to go to work and home i think it's a great option you can charge it really fast uh, and that's really awesome it's a pretty car you have plenty of space here for you and the passengers and you have plenty of space even in the back there you see before when i was in the back so for the size of the car it's just a great great car i was surprised to see the 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 price and surprised to see some some things here in the car so keep in mind this is a practical car efficient car because you save a lot of money uh driving only in electric and yeah that was the review guys if you have questions ask me anything you want i will answer to you thank you very much for watching my videos also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the latest videos that come out also it will mean a lot for me if you subscribe thank you very much for watching again to all of you um if you like the music you have the link in the description uh also thank you again see you soon in the next one bye guys